Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 3 and today we're taking a look at the 1959 BMW 507. Now this is a car that's produced from 1956 to 1959 and the intended to sell 5,000 a year of these mainly to the US but due to high production costs uh, the price went up from around 5,000 to more than 10,000, 10,500 dollars in fact to be super precise which would mean it would be sold for about eight to seven thousand dollars in the, today's money which uh, means that sales were sluggish and they didn't make all that many they only made 252 so where they were intending to make five thousand a year in only three years they made only 252 and as a result that nearly bankrupt BMW they, uh, yeah, came ever so close to going under uh, which would have made um, them join the Daimler group which would have change BMW's history forever quite frankly uh, but uh, yeah they uh, managed to save themselves and uh, yeah unfortunately this car didn't quite become the success they hoped it would which is a shame because it is a really really good car quite frankly it's a uh, relatively practical roadster and I think it looks absolutely amazing the interior is a uh, typical 50s uh, use of chrome big uh, white on black dials and uh, yeah, relatively simple inside because you know it's the 50s, there wasn't all that much to put in a car at that time. And uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I love the look of it. And it's a unique BMW in the fact that it's uh, got a really rather small capacity engine, it's a 3.2 litre V8 engine. And uh, yeah, it produces 165 horsepower and 161 pounds feet of torque, which uh, yeah isn't going to set the world on fire or anything like that, but uh, it's still a relatively uh, powerful car and because it only weighs 2,690 pounds it's not all that sluggish either uh, but to see what this car is capable of we're going to take it out there onto the circuit and see what it can do so see you when we get there alright let's see what this car can do so yeah I love the sound of that V8 I really do like small capacity V8s which unfortunately aren't uh, all that common, certainly not on this game. But yeah, this is one of the best, and uh, yeah, I can quite frankly uh, put it up alongside that Fiat 8V, which has a 2-litre uh, V8 as well. And uh, yeah, just something about small capacity V8s that just sound uh, unique and uh, sometimes better than uh, larger V8s. And uh, yeah, this car is uh, a returnee from Forza Motorsport 4. It's not been in the game since that game, and uh, yeah. It's been a car I've been wanting in a new Forza game for a while. So yeah, really glad it's uh, back. And uh, yeah, it's not, like I said, not going to set the ball on fire in terms of acceleration, in terms of handling either, because it's a 50s car. It's got quite a bit of roll to it. It's even got a live rear axle. So uh, yeah, don't expect a, you know, a quick car <laughs> or a good handling car in general either, as you can see by that. Maybe that's more down to me. But uh, yeah, still decent in terms of acceleration. Not to 16, 10 seconds. Not to 124.519 seconds. And it got to a top speed of 134 mile an hour, which isn't too shabby for a car from the 50s. And uh, yeah, this was a car that was intended to go up against the likes of the Mercedes 300 SEL, the one with the gold wing uh, doors. And uh, the likes of the uh, underpowered Triumphs and MGs from the time sort of like slotting between the two of them but because like I said it's so expensive from the time it just didn't sell, couldn't produce all that many because not many people wanted to buy them I mean the uh, certainly uh, rich people bought them like of Elvis Presley, he bought two of them for Christ's sake but uh, apart from people like that, yeah, didn't sell all that much but most of them all survived the uh, years more than 200 have survived and uh, they go for quite a lot of money nowadays more than two million dollars so uh, yeah they've certainly held their uh, reputation for being a good car and they're certainly a collector's items from now certainly one of the more rarer BMWs out there and uh, it was a uh, predecessor to the uh, likes of the Z cars like the Z1, the Z8 and uh, yeah unfortunately they don't make all that many uh, roasters nowadays certainly none that are as uh, lightweight and uh, simplistic as this but yeah, like I said, if you were going to sell one of these for the amount of money that it sold in the 1950s, it would be 87 grand and you wouldn't expect a car to be simple for that kind of money. So uh, I guess that's uh, just the way it goes nowadays. But uh, yeah, it's a shame that this car wasn't more successful. It's a real shame that it nearly bankrupt BMW. But 
luckily it didn't and uh, they managed to salvage themselves with uh, an economy car that they brought out a year, the same year I think it was a BMW 700, yeah that's sold hundreds of thousands of units so uh, yeah they managed to save themselves and which is a good thing because obviously plenty of cars that came out afterwards were great and uh, this unfortunately being a great car also nearly uh, killed them off anyway yeah worth trying it out if you've got the car pack and if you haven't got the car pack it's one of the best in the car pack and uh, yeah I'm glad it's finally made a return to the Forza series so yeah there we go so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.